What's up, Gemini? My name is Lisa. Okay, so I'm going to do a reading, energy reading here for you and your person, twin flame, soulmate, divine love connection, whatever you resonate with. I'm going to pick one of these oracle messages to see what your overall energy is with your person, what you guys are learning, what you need to focus on right now at this time. All right, give me one card for Gemini and their person. One card for Gemini. Okay, this one flew out. Take a chance on love. Wow, Aquarius just got this. So some of you may be dealing with an Aquarius. When we start to love, our lives are changed forever. And what's over here? Ask for help. What is it you really need help with? Be willing to allow yourself the support you need. Okay, so... I'm getting a lot of independent energy here. So you both could be like just um, very independent or some of you may even like need assistance in becoming independent, something like that. Okay. There's, there's like a hesitancy to ask for help here, but I feel like one person has more knowledge in whatever area somebody is interested in learning about. All right. And I'm getting like my S card here. So I feel like this person is definitely your person. All right. So there's a, that card is a big deal. It doesn't pop out all the time, but when it does, it's a big deal. Okay, so give me one card for Gemini, please. One card for Gemini. Worth waiting for. Okay, so you know this is worth waiting for. Um, and you look at your person as being worth waiting for. And uh, it says divine timing is at work in your love life. Yeah, this is playful. So just continue to be playful uh, that might just be like where this, I feel like this will, yeah, le like, like lessen the resistance, you know, and make it easier to take a chance on love. Maybe that's what you need to ask for help for. It's like, maybe you're new at this, you know, or maybe it's been a while since you've dated or something. There's, there's something where it's like, like being more um, commit committed towards the relationship or something like that. Like it's like don't be afraid to talk about the things that you want to know. Like ask the questions. All right, give me one card for Gemini's person, please. Okay, you're getting two. Look, it's safe for you to love. Okay, this person could have left you in the past, or you left them. Look past life relationship. So I definitely feel like this is somebody possibly from your past or, um, yeah, see, express your love and it's safe for you to love. Um, I feel like this person is wondering if it's safe for them to love you again. I heard again. Okay. This is express your love. So I feel like this person, and remember that the energy can go either way. So I feel like this person may be wondering, um, if it says, go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Okay. So I feel like this person wants to express their love to you, but they're holding back. And I feel like this person may have even almost given up on you, but, 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 or however this goes. Okay. Um, and I feel like to you anyway, it feels like it's worth waiting for this person to come around or trust you or something like that. Okay. But you are being guided to take a chance on love. Okay. So that's like the overall energy for your connection. All right. Give me one card for the actual connection here. Currently, all right, one fell out. Wow. Okay. So it says let go of control issues. This was like in reverse. So I feel like that definitely needs to 
happen, like letting go of control. I feel like both people kind of, um, like I said, I got that independent energy. So I feel like both of you want what you want the way that you want it. And there's like some sort of compromise that needs to happen here and see, and even next to it, it says, keep an open mind. So this person could be very different from what you remember. Okay. It says calling in your soulmate. You're both like calling each other in and look, it says retreat. So, um, you might not, you might, yeah, look, so stay optimistic about your love life. Yeah, something happened. Like, you could have, like, recently pulled away from this person or um, you're both kind of just taking your time, enjoying your singlehood or just your independence, your, like, freedom as, like, one, you know, separate from another time. Because I do feel like you do want to take a chance on love, but I feel like both of you want to take a chance on love. And I feel like, um, you're working on letting go of control. Both of you are like, maybe you could have just been like, this was like a big hell no. You know what I'm saying? Like, like hell no. And something has happened to both of you, honestly, to kind of soften that blow. So now it's like a, like, it's like you're creeping back into each other's thoughts or something like that. Or, um, you see, it's like this, it's like, you see how she's like looking back at him. It's like, they're not speaking to each other yet, but look, there's cherubs over there. So it's like, it's being, they're being divinely directed. To see each other again. But I don't feel like this. the topics, if you talk to this person, have been about, like, getting back together or anything like that. Okay? All right. Let me get, um, yeah, see, this, this says Empress. There, there, there could have been some sort of ending, um, but this is also... The Empress represents Venus and she also represents um, fresh starts and new beginnings. And so, but I feel like there's somebody here, either you or your person, just really embodying this Empress energy. And I feel like, see this Ten of Swords, there's something that's happened in the past. There, there's been some sort of portrayal, like maybe when you left this, yeah, see there's Ace of Cups underneath here. There's, there's a lot of love here, okay? But I feel like, um, it's like this person is, it's like, they're showing me, it's like they're, um, this person could have caught you cheating or something like that. Okay. Or, um, I just feel like both of you are very different from what you were in the past because how they're showing it to me it's like this is in the past yeah yeah this is in the past somebody could have been like crying there this is a ten of swords this is an ending this is betrayal okay but there's like another couple out there um through the window like making out i mean they're naked and so but not anymore. Like this person isn't crying anymore. But I feel like it's both of you. Like, I feel like this energy is both of you. I feel like both of you are in this, like whatever empress or, e um, emperor energy. It's like, maybe you guys were together and you both cheated on each other, or maybe just your past relationships, you've both been cheated on. Okay. And so now you're both like, I know my words. I know I don't have to do anything. Anybody tells me to do. And, um, you just love each other a lot or love yourselves. Like, you know, 
I'm hearing that I can buy myself, I can buy my own flowers or however that song goes. Okay. Yeah. See, you probably both have a lot of options. But the truth is you both keep thinking of each other. And I feel like there's something here about like being with somebody else. Look, 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 because it's like, you see how, I don't know if this person saw you with somebody else or knows that you're with somebody else. Maybe one of you is still attached to somebody else. And whoever is single is just like, like this, you know, could have taken it as a betrayal, you know, that, and during that time, during this time, like, this person has completely changed, you know, from whomever you left, like, or they left you crying to be with somebody else. And during that time, you just like completely level up or vice versa, something like that happened. Okay. So it's different for everybody. Cause this is for, um, you know, more than one person's collective reading. So, all right, let's see. Give me one to grow on for Gemini. Let go of stress. Don't take on other people's stress. Breathe it out now. <sighs> All right. So, um, take care of yourself. Yeah. Best friends. Like this could be your best friend or this was your best friend, or maybe that's how it gets rekindled as best friends. There's something here about friends. And then this says, just be yourself. Okay, I, I, I really feel like it's a gamble. You just got to trust your instincts. Like, you know now. You know better now. Both of you do. But the thing is, is that I feel like in the, however, it could have been like 10 years since you've actually like been together with this person. Like, um, there's something like that. There's something about 10 years because they, they said 10 years. So... Um, maybe the last 10 years, it's been very rocky between you and this person. I have no idea. Um, it's different for everybody. Like I said, okay, pets. Some of you could have just gotten an animal, but just be yourself. Okay. When, when you're around this person, just let yourself be who you, who you are. And, um, yeah, happy thoughts and very soon, because I feel like this is just something that, is going to just naturally come together. And it says it's worth the wait. This was the first card out was worth the wait. So, because I do feel like, yeah, it says divine timing is at work in your love life. The divine has their hand all over this connection. Even, even the dirty parts, even, even this part when, so, cause I feel like somebody was left crying here and, uh, but even that was part of the divine plan. Okay. So, uh, but this is you guys move. Yeah. Look, and here's the emperor. You see what I'm saying? So this is definitely a divine connection and you are both. See, it's like you both leveled up, but it's like this person this empress is this empress now. It's like you both don't know how to approach each other as you are now because you've both clearly changed. Ooh, okay. I like it. <laughs> I like it, Gemini. All right. So, um, this is for March, but I look forward next week. I will be putting out, uh, April. April monthlies. And I think I've been saying February in the other readings anyway. Oh, well. Um, but until the end of March, I am offering 50% off all readings. So go check out my website, Lulu Lisa, Tarot Love Grow and enter discount code CAKE, C-A-K-E 
at the checkout for that 50% off to apply. Okay. All right. Thanks, Gemini. Bye.